this. What are you doing? I'm holding <laughs> your EKG <laughs> and my nail polish matches your gloves. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> just got back. We were just finished our my appointment. My lovely wife brought me to see Yay! a cardiologist. Great appointment. Never thought I'd, I would say I'm, I'm on my way home from the cardiologist. I always thought my heart was so freaking strong. Well, you could have just gone there for a checkup. Exactly. <laughs> but I went because it was a follow-up from... Like uh, your doctor that we saw there. My Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a holistic doctor who happened to be there. And, uh, he was a, he's an alternative medicine doctor. He was there to just get a checkup. Yeah. I can't talk about that because of HIPAA laws. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, <clears throat> I had a very good appointment. Uh, no, I had a bad episode. I had oh, a, yeah. Uh, event, an AFib event. And a lot of you know what that is because you're watching this video and some of you don't. It's not necessarily life-threatening directly, but it can cause life-threatening issues like blood clots. So I had this bad event where my heart was really out of rhythm and my pressure went really high, my blood pressure. And so that lasted for two weeks. I was scared. It was scary. It was a scary time. Yeah. <clears throat> and I thought my life had changed, you know. And so they were going, at, at two weeks, they were going to paddle me. I'm doing this video, hopefully, to help people. Paddle meaning shock. Understand, at, or at least from my from my point of view and my, my testimony of what can happen, what can be. Um, anyway, yeah, at two weeks, I've, I had gone from uh, several appointments with my primary doctor to going had been referred to a cardiologist and they said yeah we're gonna need to shock your heart back into rhythm <laughs> we had an what appointment they, i don't know what they call that but the shock she, she kept paddle. saying the shock yeah they have a name for it but we're gonna shock you and, it's an electrical thing the next the next step yeah if it's really bad the next step is ablation yeah where they go in and they burn burn your heart well it's a radio Cauterize. frequency oh yeah radio. current and yeah. and they get your get you out of AFib and they supposedly can reset your heart and it's still they're still perfecting yeah. this anyway. Yeah. So what, here's what happened. So I was in bad AFib for two weeks, and I went in. They said they were going to shock. We're going to shock you. We made the appointment, and I got out of AFib. I was on the next day. Metoprolol and mm, Eliquis. Yeah. And I really didn't want to take this Eliquis because yeah. it can cause blood clots. Yes. And the reason they give it to you is for blood clots. Yes. And it's so, so crazy. <clears throat> you know, when you go into AFib, that's one of the... AFib, I'm sorry, that means atrial fibrillation. Right. It's, it's the, the top, top chamber of your heart yeah. not keeping up with the... It's quivering instead of beating, instead of pumping as it should. The bottom pumps and the top pumps, bottom pumps, top pumps, bottom pumps, top pumps. But in AFib, the bottom pumps, the vent, ventral, ventral, atrial and ventral. Yeah, yeah, part of the heart pumps, but the top part just quivers. It doesn't really do its job. So I'm ready to get this shock thing, and then I'm sorry. During this whole process, they wanted me on the metoprolol to lower my heart rate because my pressure went really up, and the and no, your heart rate went up. heart rate heart rate went up. Yeah, blood pressure went up, and and the Eliquis to thin the blood because that top chamber of the heart not pumping as it should can cause blood clots. Right. Right. So we go in. So I I said, well, I'm not taking this damn Eliquis. No, because you have to take I don't the Eliquis. Like, I, I, they've tried to put me on medications before, and they were wrong. And I was right, and I figured out how to not do medications. Like not, blood pressure medication. Like, like uh, yeah, what is that medication? Uh, lisinopril. Lisinopril. They had me on that, and I said, this is just not right. This is not... I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get off this, and I did. I stopped drinking coffee. Caffeinated coffee was causing me to have higher blood pressure, mm -hmm. and so you do. Th and I started walking more. There are ways 
that you can avoid prescription medicines if you're reason reasonably going to the healthy. Sauna, going to the, the sauna, sauna, working yeah. on the sauna. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I said I'm not going to take this, and I found a holistic alternative, which was natokinase, which is a which is a supplement that has been studied repetitively, and it it it, it thins or it. Um, yeah, it's it thin, it acts as a blood and thinner, and it lowers your blood pressure, and it, it lowers your heart, your heart rate, rate, regulates your heartbeat. Yeah. These are, I mean... Exactly what you needed. Exactly what I needed, and the stuff worked. And I went in, so the, the gist of the story is I went in today, I got this, all this... This bill of health right here. <laughs> so I go in and we're gonna frame this thing. And the and the nurse or the PA or whoever is doing this, she's gotta do an EKG, right? She's gotta check my blood pressure, my my vitals, and she does this she's EKG. Like, Why aren't you taking the drugs? And she's asking me, <laughs> yeah, she's saying, you know, they have to ask you all the questions. So everything's yeah. the same. Uh, you're taking the eloquence and the metoprolol, and I said, No, I'm not taking that stuff. I won't take that. And she she like, said, Why oh. aren't you taking that? And I said, Well, <laughs> taking an alternative and this is before she does the EKG what is it she has to enter it in right and she the whole time she was like oh, this guy why are you doing that yeah. you're, supposed to, you're supposed to listen you're supposed to be a good boy and take the pharmaceuticals exactly and I said because this natokinase does the same thing but it's good for you instead of dangerous for you it does the same thing that both of those drugs actually all three of those drugs yeah the high blood pressure medication yep the, the, uh, the lisinopril, the what's the metropolol, metropolol and, and the, the eloquence. eloquence. It takes the place of all three, and yeah. it's a fermented soybean, basically an enzyme. Yeah. So. And those are the only soybeans you're. And it to works, eat. and it works, and so I'm telling her this, and she's like, oh, "Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm yeah. just putting it in the system." And then she does my EKG and my blood pressure, and she says, and she. Walk, she walks out of the room and she comes back in with my results from EKG and she says, tell me what that is again, that stuff you're yeah, taking. Yeah, she wrote it down. She says, I'm going to write it down because I've, I've, I've been doing this for a long time and all day I've not seen one as good, an EKG as good as yours. Yeah. And you were in bad AFib. Yeah. And I said, well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. She's like, tell me what it, how to spell it. And she wrote it down. Yep. Natokinase I'm going to get on that. Peptase. I said, "Why? Do you are you an AFib?" And she said, "No, but I've got other health issues that they've they've she said they're trying to uh What do you call it? I I couldn't hear it. Tell you when you have an illness. Diagnose. Diagnose. They're diagnosing me with all these different yeah. ailments and yeah. I want to know what that stuff is because I want to take it yeah. instead of the drugs. And I was really impressed. I was happy yeah. um, to be one of the one of the best EKGs she's seen in a while. Yeah. And and, uh, and that she was going to go on this use natokinase herself. Yeah. And what? <laughs> yeah, see, it doesn't help dementia, Jen. <laughs> Shit. It was going to be good, too. Oh. No. <laughs> Never mind. Look at that nice sunset. Anyway, very peculiar, unorthodox uh, video, but I wanted to tell this story while it's fresh in my mind for those of you who are dealing with AFib. Oh, and... Oh, I was going to say that she did not fully believe the diagnosis of high blood pressure for you. The, the doctor. Like, yeah, she's like... I love the doctor. Yeah. She's a young girl. Yeah. She said, I know you've been diagnosed with this, but I'm... It didn't make I'm sense because I walked that. in there. She said, you're not on any medication? After yeah. the nurse gave her my report, she said, it doesn't make, you, it doesn't make sense that you have high blood pressure. I yeah. said, well, I told you I'm taking the natokinase. And she was and like, she's thinking, you don't have that high doesn't blood make pressure. any sense. If you're, if you're not, if you have good high blood, good blood pressure today and you've been diagnosed with hypertension, it doesn't add up. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think you have hypertension. And I just wanted to keep saying, but I'm taking natokinase. Yeah. Uh, they so. don't they just don't want to and I told her I said I know you're in your there. bubble and I want yeah. I want to have a relationship with you because I do respect doctors some doctors 
and I do understand. I respect her. She yeah. listens, but they're and in spends time. They're in yeah. the, They're caught up in that complex where yeah. they're not allowed to think outside of the box. Yeah. And I'm the guy that's presenting the outside of the box stuff. Yep. And I told her, I said, you know, they tried to make me take that uh, lisinopril, and I don't trust any drug. I don't want any yeah. drug in my body if yeah. I don't absolutely have to have it. Well, they all have side effects. And generally. they didn't tell me, they didn't, doctor didn't tell me, well, you can stop drinking coffee because that might be causing it. Yeah. And see if that works. If not, we want you to take the lisinopril. Yeah. Or unless you can find a way to, to heal yourself. They don't tell you that. They just say, take like, this pill. There is a way, probably. Because the pharmaceutical companies have told us to tell you to take this. Exactly. So... And we're we, all different. We didn't take the so, damn vaccine. Of course and it's we not don't take work. the pills. We just don't want the damn pharmaceutical stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're doing yeah. it our way. And yeah. and I told her, I said, look, I know you have people come in here that are uncooperative when they should be cooperative. I'm not that guy. Yeah. I'm the guy. We're not being stupid. I said, I don't we're want to be stupid. We're trying to heal ourselves. I'm not trying to be stupid and take chances with my life. Yeah. But when you're when I you're giving me a drug, Eliquis, and I read all the stuff online about how it causes spine, it can cause spinal, well, it's can all cause blood in, clots. In the thing that I read to you. And what is supposed to what is supposed <laughs> it's like to this long. it's supposed to keep you from having blood clots, but it can actually cause you, them. Yeah. And spe and it specifically can cause spinal blood clots, it's which ridiculous. is interesting, right? Yeah. And heart blood anywhere. So, yeah. So I got. I did it my way and it worked. We're all gonna die. But I'm not gonna die at, not the, soon. at the hands of the maniacal evil Hopefully. pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. So there you go, that's my story. I hope I, I hope I said everything. Oh, and the doctor told us some other stories of like an athlete she knows that is a young woman who developed AFib. And it had her had to end up She's having a long distance runner. End up having her heart ablate the ablation on her heart twice, twice yeah. and still is an athlete. So there's there is a lot of hope, yep. and that has come a long way. They've, before it was not successful because they were doing it on the outside of the artery, artery. No, they were doing it on the heart. inside. The inside. And now and it was causing it, it was causing the scar right, tissue, the hardening so of the artery yeah it would, yeah, get it would restrict it yeah. yeah and so they decided if they did it on the inside that didn't happen the outside. sorry yeah outside anyway, <laughs> long story hope this hope this information helps some of you and we'll definitely share more about it if yeah. if there is more to share thanks for watching